I'm Rachel and this is Dress to the Nine. This week we have Paris fashion, hot parties, and red carpet premieres. Lily Collins looked goth chic at Paris Fashion Week. The young starlet was front row at Givenchy in the Bambi print neoprene sweatshirt. She finished the look with black ankle buckle sandals and a plum lip. Givenchy was a hot front row where we saw Ciara and Kim Ye next to Lily. Lucky! Hailey Steinfeld looked gorgeous at the premiere of Romeo and Juliet in Hollywood. She wore this fun Prabal Garang off the shoulder dress. I love the stripes up the back and those super high ankle strap peep toes. Haley's date was BFF Taylor Swift. Taylor also looked amazing in a feminine Reem Acra floral print dress. She opted for nude pointed toe slingbacks and popped the demure look with a red lip. What a fun night for those two. Suki Waterhouse turned up at a party in London looking pleasantly put together. The usually casual model donned an emerald mulberry fall 13 short sleeve dress with a pleated knee length skirt. Her choice of the black platform booties added a nod to her funky style while still keeping it classy. I'm sure she keeps boyfriend Bradley Cooper saying, ah, sicky sicky. Nine West has these amazing sky high platform booties called the Plum Perfect. These will give any look a lift and they're such a staple you can rock them with everything from dresses to jeans. Want to get the look? Click here. Are you ready to guess whose shoe? Which hot actress and caring mama killed her crop top fashion in black and white? It's Jessica Alba. The beautiful actress rocked a black crop top and skirt from the Narciso Rodriguez Spring 14 collection. The stars of this ensemble are the white Nicholas Kirkwood shoes with gold accents on the hexagon embellished toes. On the runway, this look showed with a black T-bar sandal and a white bag instead of Jessica's gold bag. I like both looks. What do you guys think? Comment below. We have a tie for Shoe Queen this week. All hail the queens. This week, our Shoe Queens are Carrie Mulligan and Diane Kruger. Carrie turned up at the New York Film Festival with dark hair and a fabulous fall look. Her small frame was celebrated in this black Alexander McQueen Resort 14 halter dress. I love the gold neck detail and the cutout waist. She anchored the look with black pointed toe ankle strap pumps. Love it, Carrie. Diane Kruger was also stunning this week at the Met in New York. She chose this red, black, and white dress from the Prabal Garang Resort 14 collection. I love the high-low hemline and her choice of those beautiful white pumps. Diane has Prabal looking proud. Congrats, ladies! So last week we showed you these white Genio pumps from Nine West and I'm loving mine. Seriously, white pumps are white hot right now. It's time for Shoe Shock. We were in shoe shock over Misha Barton's look at a Showtime premiere in New York this week. This gold floor length gown is all wrong. The fit is slouchy and the wrinkled dress needs a really good steam. The white sweater jacket is frumpy and the black sandals are an eyesore. Sorry girl, but this look is a hot mess. Quick, make it better. Lizzie Kaplan was at the same event looking smashing in a cape top over a black dress paired with black and white sandals. What do you guys think of this cape trend? Because we're gonna be seeing a lot more of it. Leave it in the comments below. Well, that's it for this week. Make sure to check back next week for our 50th episode of Dress to the Nines. I can't believe we're at 50 already. Whew, time flies. I'm Rachel, see you next week. To see more Dress to the Nines and other awesome programming for shoe lovers, make sure to subscribe to Nine West.